In this video, I'm gonna be running through the setup of the mixer on the Rodecaster Pro 2 and show you how to assign different channels to the different faders on the device. So let's get straight on into it. Uh, now, one of the things that's different about the Rodecaster Pro 2 compared to the Rodecaster Pro 1 is that uh, first of all, although there are fewer physical faders on the device, um, there are three virtual faders. So we have nine in total. Um, but the other thing is these are completely customizable. So whereas with the RCP1, uh, these four faders here were linked directly to the uh, four inputs. Uh, now we can sort of move these all around. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, but for the time being, what I've done is I've just got this as the default setup. So when you go through the setup process with the Rodecaster Pro 2, uh, you can either use the setup wizard where you're going to specify exactly what things you've got coming in and out of it. And it will then organize all of those devices onto the screen for you um, and to the relative faders. Um, I've just used the default setup. Now in that sense, uh, what this has done is it's just basically pre-populated all of these faders with different inputs and outputs so this isn't quite what I want and so then I'm going to go through and show you how to adjust all of that so the default though is that you will have on the first four faders these will be linked to the four inputs at the back so you can have up to four uh, microphones coming in but then over XLR but because they've now got these uh, as well as an XLR cable from a microphone, you could also take a line in or a guitar or something like that. So uh, that is what these four, first four faders are. It is for the uh, line in uh, on the back, the four connectors on the back. The uh, fifth fader here is for Bluetooth. I should say, by the way, that there is a little symbol on the screen telling you what they are. So this has got a little symbol of a microphone and then the numbers one, two, three, and four. Uh, this has got the Bluetooth symbol uh, that is corresponding to this fifth fa fader. Uh, and then the sixth here is the sound panels or the uh, 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 smart pads, I should say, uh, where you can have sound effects and things like that playing. So that is for the, uh, the volume of those. And that is currently assigned to this. Uh, they are all color coded. So we do have a colored light on each of these to uh, correspond with the color that you have on the screen there, just so that you can easily see which one uh, relates to which. Um, but you'll notice on here, there is also, as well as these six faders, there is also these three here. And these are those virtual faders. Now, as a default, these are all assigned to the, um, the USB in and out that we've got. Uh, and in fact, there is now two cables going out of the device. Uh, those could both go into the same computer as indeed I've got them now because I'm doing a little bit of slightly more complex audio routing using both of those USB cables. But you could also have uh, one going into one computer, one going into another, or even one going into an iOS device or uh, some sort of other device that you are gonna have your audio coming in from. Uh, whatever the case though, we've got two cables. Now the thing that is uh, slightly uh, special about that first one is that that's actually got two separate uh, channels on it. So that's why we have these three different things here. The first one is uh, USB uh, 2, the secondary. Uh, then we've got USB 1 and then USB 1 chat. Now these show up as three different devices on your computer and actually they're called uh, the from the first cable. We've got the USB main sorry, the Rodecaster Pro 2 main and Rodecaster Pro 2 chat. Uh, and then from that secondary cable, we've got Rodecaster Pro 2 secondary. So that is how these are going to show up on your device. In fact, they will be something like this. Uh, that's what they will just appear as, as the inputs and outputs on your computer. So what is different about those three? Because uh, there is a slight difference. Um, with the, uh, the two that are coming from the first cable, Roadcaster Pro 2 Main does not have Mix Minus and Roadcaster Pro 2 Chat does have Mix Minus and these are permanently on. Maybe this might change at a later date with a firmware update, who knows? But for the time being, there is no uh, Mix Minus on the Main and there is Mix Minus on the chat. And what is Mix Minus exactly? Um, well, if you think that this is a device that we can either send audio from the computer to, uh, so it can act as an input into the device, um, but also we can take audio from the device back into the computer as well. Um, so you've got this sort of two-way audio going on. Now, if you are using this in some sort of communications platform like Zoom, Discord, Teams, or something like that, or in my case, uh, recording with Ecamm Live as well, just as I'm doing right now, if you're feeding audio from uh, Zoom or from Ecamm Live 
uh, into here because you want to record the audio and obviously put it into the mix um, but then it's feeding back into the computer it would feed back to itself and you would get this slap back where you're hearing basically a duplication a moment later of whatever audio is coming in would go straight back out again so mix minus basically means that on that specific channel uh, so in this case on the chat channel this one has the mix minus on uh, any audio that's coming in uh, will be kind of like removed from the signal that's going back out on that same channel so it means that the application is not kind of hearing itself back and especially uh, important in things like zoom where you don't want basically people to be hearing themselves back uh, over the um, over in in the zoom meeting so that's what mix minus is and that's the difference between the main and the chat now on the secondary channel uh, which is coming from that second usb cable although there is only one usb uh, cable uh, that has uh, that has a single channel um, that has the option of turning the mix minus on or off so you have the choice there um, i'll get into uh, the the way that i'm using this with those two cables and three different channels in a later video but for the time being though let's just have a look at uh, how we can rearrange all of that because that is the default setting that is basically all of the different inputs and outputs that you may have but we can then do a little bit more in terms of uh, organizing these so that if you want to move things around so for example I might well use a second microphone at times so I might well, well want to keep this second microphone here uh, but really for me these are a little bit pointless because I'm never going to be bringing a uh, second a third and fourth microphone into the device so I'd much prefer to have my uh, sort of USB controls over on these physical faders uh, and by the way I should say to adjust the levels on these virtual faders all you do is you click on them on the screen uh, like this uh, and then we have the dial here that we can turn and you can see that as I'm turning this dial uh, it is moving that fader uh, up and down and if you just press in the button then it will uh, it will sort of set it at that level I could click on this one you see that these little controls pop up at the bottom uh, I'm going to move that fader up and down uh, and then just press uh, and then it exits that screen or you could also uh, do it this way if I move the fader up and then just tap again on that slider uh, that fader then it will uh, it will exit that there are a couple more controls before I move on uh, on the uh, the bottom down here so this is to either mute a channel <laughs> and this one is to solo the channel and by solo what that means is it means that you as the host on channel one uh, will hear that in your in your monitor so if you are maybe queuing up some music or something like that and you just want to hear exactly where it's getting to or a clip or something like that you would be able to uh, let's say I was bringing something over Bluetooth I might want to just solo that channel and then uh, get the level right and then bring it into the mix, something like that. So that's what that little symbol is. There's a little bit more uh, advanced things that you can do with these. I'll come on to that in the next video where I'm going to be talking about the back channel chat and things like that as well. Um, but for the time being, just know that there are these buttons here for the mute and solo. Uh, by the way, if you do want to solo multiple different things, you can simply do that. Just click multiple ones of these and then I'll be hearing in my ear everything that's coming from those specific channels so you can solo more than one which uh, sounds a little bit weird but you can do that um, now on the uh, virtual faders here then you can do this as well so just click on any one of these uh, and you'll see that we've got those same two symbols there this one for the uh, solo and then this one to mute that channel uh, so let's uh, move on to how to actually organize all of these if we want to rearrange anything that is on this screen at any time we can do that simply we just click on the little cogwheel just up at the top here for the settings uh, and then we have uh, faders here now we can see uh, what is assigned to all of the different faders so the top row here is the physical faders and the bottom row here is the virtual faders uh, and you can see what is assigned to each uh, everything is all matching in terms of you can see the color coding and things like that uh, corresponds to the colors along the top here uh, but we can really simply move things around so if I say well I don't really want to use this uh, microphone 3 and I want to move it out of the way I could simply say right well okay let me put my USB 1 over there instead I'm just going to drag it and drop it and it is now switched those uh, those two out in terms of where they are uh, I might also just want to say well I actually just want to uh, delete this one altogether because I'm never going to use microphone 3 so I could also just click on it uh, and then where it says input number 3 see what is selected uh, I can just click none uh, and then click like that uh, and then it has actually gone all together from those faders you can always add it in uh, add it back in afterwards if you wanted to uh, and we'll look at how to do that in a moment 
Uh, for the time being though, let me say that I wanna move this over here. So we've got my, uh, these are both the USB one channels. So we've got the main and then we've got the chat. You can tell which one is the chat, although they've both got USB one symbol on them. Uh, the chat is the one with the uh, chat speech bubble, <laughs> which makes sense. Uh, and then here we've got the USB two. So uh, if ever you want to add something onto one of these faders, uh, then you just simply click on the plus uh, and then from here, you can choose from any of those inputs. And the inputs are those that we've already looked at. Inputs 1 to 4, Bluetooth, USB 1, USB 1 chat, USB 2, and also the sounds from the sound pad. Uh, one thing that you can also do with this, though, if I just uh, delete this one for a second. Um, so I'm not using channels 3 and 4. One thing that you can do with the Rodecaster Pro 2, which is uh, something you couldn't previously do, uh, first of all, is take line in as opposed to just a um, uh, over a, a jack rather than an XLR cable. Um, so now it has got these Neutric, Neutric connectors on the back that allow you to plug in a jack. Uh, and what you can also do is if you do have, uh, as well as being able to plug in like a line in or a guitar or something like that, if you do have a stereo pair that you want to bring in uh, over two separate lines, then you can do that as well. We just click on the plus and then you'll notice Underneath these four inputs, input one, two, three, and four, corresponding to those four inputs on the back, uh, you do also have this little stereo uh, icon here, uh, which basically is gonna couple two of those together. And it's either one and two, two and three, or three and four. You can't join uh, four and one, for example. So <laughs> it's just two that are next to each other. So if you click on input three and four, and you can see underneath, uh, you don't need to click on, I'm sorry, you see the stereo button underneath. If I tap that, then that now has linked those two together. You can see that they've uh, turned yellow. Uh, click on OK. And there we've got them linked onto that virtual fader. Uh, so now coming back out, uh, what you'll notice is as well, uh, that fader slot that we're no longer using uh, has just disappeared from the screen. So it's not going to appear there if you've got nothing on it. Uh, and if I just come back into the faders again, I'll show you what I mean. If I just remove this one now, and I'll remove the virtual one as well. There we go. So if I come back into my home, can you see now there are only six faders there rather than those three virtual ones. So uh, these ones will stay though if I was to say I don't want anything on uh, this one. So I wasn't using the chat. Then take that one out. Come back here. Uh, that one does still show as a just a blank fader, just so that you can clearly see, you know, what's corresponding to which. Uh, but just know that uh, those virtual faders, even if you can't see them here, it means you can add them in and everything else will just sort of squish up to uh, make some space for it. So that is how you sort of move things around and organize them. Uh, I think it's really great that you can do that because then you can set this up and have these faders for exactly what you need them for. One of the reasons why I didn't get a Rodecaster Pro 1 is because I couldn't really think of the uh, use case necessarily that I'd have for it with just a single microphone uh, doing my audio mainly in Ecamm Live, being able to control that with the Stream Deck and the Loop Deck. Uh, however, having the versatility now to move all of these things around, and I'm going to be using all three of those inputs and outputs to do some uh, complex audio routing with Ecamm Live going into Zoom and Discord and things like that. Uh, now I can really see the uh, benefit of having this because everything is all on, uh, for me, all on these, uh, these six sliders here, so or faders, I should say. I've got to get my terminology right, haven't I? Now, you can do some uh, slightly more complex things in terms of, uh, first of all, that audio routing that I was talking about, but also activating back channel chat and things like that. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that, he says, knocking his mouth across the desk. Uh, there are a couple of ways that you can do that from the bottom, but then also uh, using the smart pads as well, because they're not just audio now, they are for uh, you know assigning to different tasks as well so we'll be looking at that though in the next video which is coming right up and i've also left a list to my overall roadcaster playlist too